Greetings musicians and recording engineers. Today I'm going to teach you how to comp horns. I have here a trumpet part. I'm looking at track at a trumpet track here. This is trumpet three. I have three trumpet parts here in this sort of jazz uh, thing that I'm working on. And what I'm going to do is for now, uh, I made a recording last night and um, I recorded multiple tracks and what Logic does is it saves those tracks it, it saves all the takes within a track so if you do more than one take it puts this little arrow here on the track you can open it up this way and here's take one right here and here's take two right here now this trumpet's playing kind of low out of its range and it will be down deep in the harmonies but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and listen and select the best takes out of these two tracks. So uh, automatically um, your cursor turns into this symbol. So I roll it over here and it becomes the arrow, roll it down here and it becomes this comping tool, this compositing tool. This process is called compositing. So what I'm doing is I'm listening here. Turn the sound on. Okay, so here we go. So I just listen. So he, you can hear uh, the performer sort of didn't hit that first note square on, so I'm going to see if I can do a little better here with this take. Better. And we just go along. Okay, so that note there was a little bit. So what I try to do is sort of because, uh, you know, horn players will take a breath before they play, so, some, so it's kind of nice sometimes to put that cut point in the comp right up sort of close to the note like this. Better. Again, going right up close to the note here on this take. So it looks like we did multiple takes of this section of the song. Uh, typically, when I record, I try to make sure the last take is pretty strong. And then I use that as a guideline, and if there are problems in the last take, then I go to other takes. Okay, so this is where we're sort of low out of that horn player's range. It's not his fault, it's the arrangement's fault. So let's try this take here. That's another thing, once you select an area from here to here, you can just click on another take and it jumps that whole area wherever you need it. So I'm just looking for the best take here. Probably the top one. Okay, so let's see if we can find a better note here. It's tough for horn players to play right on down below down below their effective range. So I'm trying to find the one that's closest to in tune and then later on I'll go in and fix the intonation on that low note. Right now I'm just in comping. That one's not bad. <coughs> there we go. Try this second take here. Okay, so then I'm just going to continue on through this document uh, piece by piece grab the best pieces of every take until I put together a master take and then what I'll do is I'll bounce in place all those takes onto the same track and so that takes all the track all the best takes and makes one track out of it so I'll be back uh, maybe to show you how to do that happy recording hope this helped